Welcome back to my Let's Play for Pokemon Silver and my mono fighting run. It's time to take on Morty. The first we're gonna have to take on is Minions. <laughs> Who would think the assistant of the Shaman King would actually have Minions? <laughs> I guess Morty's moved up in the world. <laughs> At any rate, I suppose we should deal with this guy's Ghastlies. But they hit us with a gas attack. Uh, probably our best option is gonna be Dig. Just let's face it, him on top can't use Pursuit at a level where it's actually going to knock these guys out. And there's no way he's going to switch in the middle of the fight with us. So, you know, we're just going to have to dig, dig, and dig until we win. Well, at least there were some decent experience, right? Though I think the Stantlers outside town are a bit better. If only by about another 25 points or so. Though they're also a lot harder to get a hold of. Ah <sighs> oh, man. Oh wait, it doesn't work because I'm in the middle of dig in the invincible part. Yeah. Oh yeah. Go dig. <laughs> what? Like th this is my best option for dealing with everyone here. It's a sad truth. Okay, let's let's deal with yet another ghastly. The same way, because they're all the same level. Which makes this kind of boring in a way, I suppose. As we all know, they're going to try and lick us, and they're going to get crushed. Well, that's one more down. Two more to go. This is a long battle. Just because there's so gosh darn many of them. It's like he's got a horde of ghastlies. I guess he's trying to mimic me when I did my ghost run. Of course, it is a bit disappointing that, you know, Mori doesn't have a Mysterious, I suppose. After all, it's the only new ghost Pokemon they had this generation, and he doesn't even have it. <sighs> of course, when I did my ghost run, I didn't use one either. I mean, I could catch ghastlies in the wild before the first gym, so there's no reason for me really to cheat any in. If I ever go back and do that again, though, I probably will give myself a Mistrevious, just because, you know, it'd be something different to have on the team. Ugh. Though I don't know if I'd ever be really encouraged to want to do that again, because quite frankly, getting through the game once with the Ghost Team was a pain in the pack side. Especially since Hunter doesn't get access to the elemental punches, gosh darn it. Gengar does. Hunter doesn't. Ugh. Well, we still have enough digs left to deal with the Haunters up here. Yeah, she's packing Haunters. She's gonna try and haunt us for the rest of our life, I suppose. I don't think it's gonna work. Though we're definitely gonna have to heal after this. Because Dig has such a small amount of uses before you run out of them. Ah, so we're gonna lose about half our health taking this guy out. Gosh darn it. Well, that dig will knock it out, but I'm still gonna have to switch out. This sucks. Um, I guess we can send out Bruce. Maybe go for a mud slap. Yeah, we're changing all right. Because there's no point in sending anyone else out, because they just get, you know, knocked out. I mean, at least Bruce can do some damage before it happens. Oh, look at me, huh? You think that's going to earn you a victory? I'm not so sure. Come on, we got to throw more dirt on. And gosh darn it, I can't escape now. Well, I guess we're going to have to see who can come out victorious here. Aw, man. I mean, I might be able to get the kill anyway. Of course, I might regret not having that, um, points on, um, Mr. Miyagi, because that probably would have pushed him up another level. And I'm probably gonna need about as many levels as I can get my hands on when it comes to dealing with this Gengar. <sighs> Gengar's the real threat we gotta worry about. The rest of his team can go hang, as far as I'm concerned, because they're not very threatening. That Gengar, though, it doesn't mess around. <sighs> 
and I doubt, you know, Bruce is gonna be fast enough to outspeed it for a mud slap, and it could probably be dropped easily by a Shadow Ball, because let's face it, Bruce can't take a hit for crap. Ugh. And Gengar hits hard. Real hard. <sighs> of course, I'm not exactly sure why ghost attacks are physical attacks this gen. That's always weirded me out. That ghost attacks like Shadow Ball count as a physical attack. Like, it makes no sense when you think about it. <laughs> a long time, eh? Well, we'll deal with you, deal with the other lady, then head back to the Pokemon Center and recover for the battle with Morty. Of course, he's also bringing a Haunter into play, so who knows, he might get cursed again, too. It's a distinct possibility. I'll go with Nightshade! 22 points of damage, because it's based on your level. Not bad, Carl. I mean, he does basically cut my health in half. And I'm probably not going to be able to knock it out with that blow, so, you know. Oh, it's going to curse itself into death. <laughs> That's funny. Which means I'm not going to take any damage from it since it's not the end of my turn right now. <laughs> Thanks, Honor. No. I mean, quick attacks are completely useless here. And what would I get rid of? Pursuit? I mean, if I'm gonna use any moves at all, it's probably gonna end up being headbutt if I'm gonna put a normal attack on, you know, hit him on top here. And I doubt that's gonna be what happens. <sighs> okay. Ghastly, huh? Well, I eat Ghastly's for breakfast, so this isn't going to be too difficult. It's just time to dig, dig a tunnel. And then we're going to take you out. Probably wouldn't better off using Curse, because at least that would have forced a switch. Because losing, uh, no, a fourth of my hit points it just isn't going to work for me. Well, Haunter time, huh? Well, maybe we'll be lucky and we'll be faster. <laughs> At least his spite didn't go off. Okay, is he gonna curse now? Guess we'll find out. No, oh, it went for Lick. Gosh darn it, that Quick Claw activated while I was in the semi-invulnerable part. It kinda screwed me. Yeah, you can't do that while I'm underground, man. Well, that takes care of, um, Haunter, at least. I think she's gonna follow this up with, like, another Ghastly, if I remember correctly, so... I can drop that easily enough. Yep, it's Ghastly, alright. Well, this fight's over before it even began. It's time to dig that tunnel and dig it all the way to the finish line. I don't know, victory? I kind of lost my train of thought there. Well, after this, I might work on getting ready for the next episode of Master of the Monster Lair. Though that's basically going to be, at this point, me um going into the dungeon, then leaving. That way I can, you know, eat some food, then buy treasure rooms to place them. Because that's the main problem right now. I don't have enough iron chests. I really wish I could buy silver chests as well. I mean, sure, they're more expensive, which means I'd probably have to do some grinding work to help pay for them. But at the same time, you know, it's just like, I really, really would like to be able to finish that floor without having to do, like, 20 days worth of trips. I mean, I guess my other option would be to basically go to a higher floor and strip all the treasure chests out and then replace them in a lower floor. But I don't want to do that. Because it would feel uh, a bit dishonest, in my opinion, if I was doing that to keep advancing floors by just digging up my old floors as I went down. That's not how a dungeon digger should operate, after all. Now, let's see, I do have a few, um, revives and, um, awakenings, right? Yep. Okay, we're ready. Ugh. I figure, you know, with five awakenings, the full heal, and, you know, six revives, we should be good to go. I mean, if worse comes to worse, I'll revive Hitmon Top, you know, or Bruce Lee, or someone else to continue the fight. 
though I imagine if we get hung up, it's gonna be on Gengar, like I said. It's the one Pokemon on this team I'm legitimately worried about taking out. Because the way it operates, it could potentially screw me over. Hard. Especially with that Shadow Ball option. Ooh, going for Curse, huh? But I guess it can't work if I'm in the semi-invulnerable state. Interesting. I've never tried cursing an opponent that could dig before. I guess it doesn't work, though. Because there was no one there. Ooh, going for hypnosis. I approve of your attempt. I mean, it makes sense. Oh, you're trying to mimic me? You'd have to wait for me to hit you with dig before you could do that. I mean, it's possible. Wouldn't really recommend it. Yeah, I could dug again, but I don't want to use up a dig when it had that little health left. I mean, that'd be a bit of a waste. Okay. Yeah, a speed of 42 is not going to be enough to beat Gengar. Plus, this Gengar is like, what, level 25? Oh, whatever. I guess we'll go with this. <sighs> Crap. Well, I know what he's going to follow up with, so I can always dodge it. <sighs> okay, we'll use our first Awakening. After all, Awakenings are cheaper than full heals. <sighs> Ooh, Quick Claw went off. Which means if it goes for Hypnosis this time, it's definitely not going to connect. Maybe we'll get lucky and, um, we'll come up afterwards. Thank you, Quick Claw, for activating, you know, when I really wanted you to activate. Ah, it's trapped me in battle now. That's alright. I wasn't planning on escaping anyway. <laughs> Plus, it means I got my move off, which is good in my book. Okay, just a little bit more, eh? We'll go with Pursuit, then. Going for a dig when it has that little health seems a bit, you know, insane. Of course, his last Haunter knows Nightshade, so it may inflict a bit more damage before, it take, before I take it out. But since I still have my full health left, um, this shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so we're gonna lose half our HP. But this dig attack should basically cripple this Haunter if it doesn't knock it out outright. I mean, we could get lucky and get a crit after all. Let's cross our fingers and hope. Ah, uh, no cigar. Man, that would have been your chance to spite me, man. And you could have royally screwed me. But now it's over. Oh, quick claw activate, huh? Not exactly an opportune time for that, but okay. I mean, it's gonna be the finishing blow regardless, so it doesn't really matter. But yes, this is why no one messes with Mr. Miyagi. He kicks butt, butt, butt booty, I don't know. Trying to come up with something there. And that's the best I could do. Try to keep swearing to a minimum, after all. That way, when I do swear, I really mean it. <laughs> okay. I don't think any of my Pokemon can learn Shadow Ball, though. I mean, maybe there's a fighting type out there somewhere in some game that can use Shadow Ball, but I don't think it's this one. Well, that does it for this episode. Next time, you know, we'll make our way to Olivine City and go pick up the good rod and stuff, but I'll leave that for another day. Till next time, then. See ya.